ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Rise of Flight. Last time we had a really, really nice mission. One, just one very long, very cool mission uh, where we went and patrolled over the enemy lines. Well, to begin with, we took off, shot at a couple of two-seaters, then went to patrol the enemy lines, then came back and shot some more two-seaters and then landed. And it was really great because the AI and everything just behaved itself and everything went exactly as it should have done. Which means it probably won't this time, uh, but whatever, we can live in hope. Um, yeah, so we're on 21 missions now. Note that some of those aren't ones we actually flew in the, in the LP, that's stuff that will have happened in between the missions we flew. Um, but we've got 12 victories. Um, not uh, a lot, Some of those, I think, are, might, might be through a little bit of a hiccup on the game's part when it awarded me some victories at the end of the last mission. It seemed to think I'd shot down five planes when I'd actually shot down a maximum of, elite, of, of two, uh, honestly. So, I, I don't know what's going on there, but whatever. Maybe, maybe it's stuff we shot down during the simulated missions that we didn't actually fly. I don't know, but anyway. 12 victories we have. I'm fine with that. So, yes, mission time. What have we got? Ooh, boy, look at that. So, we seem to have some sort of offensive patrol type thing. Yeah, it's the same patrol route we got before, um, and when um, when I forgot to accept the mission and had to, you know, make a new one. So we're going right the way down the lines, down to here, making a brief stop over an enemy territory on the way. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Um, and going down here, and then there. yeah, and it's just me, me and Hale Sheridan apparently, which I think is nonsense. That is not happening. Sorry. Let's take Arthur with us again. He seemed to do all right last time, and we'll take Elmer. Makes four of us. That should be okay. Yeah, we're taking off at ten thirty. Yeah, seems good to me. Uh. I, I like the look of it. I do. So yeah, let's jump to it then. Let's accept the mission this time. Then back to campaign. And I'll see you in the game. Okay then. It's pretty straightforward. There's apparently a balloon up there. We don't really give a damn though. It's, it's completely in the wrong direction. Um, yeah, here we go. We're going to go down there and then across there and then around here. And then up this way. There's a shit ton of forests and stuff down there. Well, wow. um, anyway... Yeah, let's jump to it. Let's get on with it. Playing this right now on Sunday night. Please un unpause, thank you. And please behave, track IR, thank you. On Sunday night, just because there was a campaign break at ACG, so I wasn't doing the ACG campaign today. And uh, even though I did go on the Cliffs of Dover public server that ACG runs, I didn't enjoy myself very much, so... I kind of feel like I haven't, I haven't got my money's worth of flying this week, which is why I'm doing this now. So, uh, when you are ready, flight leader, which who is Hale Sheraton? I didn't remember that. Seems like he couldn't, can't quite get his engine started. Give him a minute. There we go. Let's not waste any time. Then out my mixture as we go. Again, very nice smooth takeoff. I cannot tell you how big a difference getting this new stick has made, actually. Oh, do need to keep the power pile on though while we're going up like this. Yeah, massive difference. Pedals are still a bit crap, but, <laughs> you know, I can live with that. I feel like you can generally tell how good quality an item is by how little you have to fuck about with the sensitivity settings and the options. Um, with the old Logitech I was using I had to do all sorts of crazy sensitivity bollocks to get it working the way I wanted it to. With the Warthog guy I just plugged it in and it was fine from the moment I plugged it in. I didn't have to mess around with anything. 
Unfortunately, these side tech rudder pedals I'm using have lots of sensitivity curves on them and stuff like that because they're not very good, to be honest with you. I mean, they were cheap, which is why I got them. But um, there's definitely better stuff out there, I think. Anyway. I guess now it's just the long climb out. Hopefully we won't get ambushed halfway there. Um, which, you know, if we do, then that's just the way it unfolds. Um, you know, as I've, as I said, I've, I've changed it now so that we won't have enemies intentionally crossing our path configured that way by the game, so if something does run across us and we have to fight, and that is just the way the cookie crumbles, so to speak. So anyway, yes, I'll be back later. Okay, we're about a third of the way into our patrol, and as per usual, Archie is making his presence known, and below me that, so I am switching the recording on, just in case. So there's not going to be anything around other than us, though, so far. It's just I'm struggling to keep up in the climb, actually, with this lot, to be honest with you. As you can see, I'm under the, these guys, and our leader is way out ahead of us. Um, we may need to... No, I think my RPMs are fairly optimal at this point. Um, we are now at uh, 11,000 feet, which I think might just be the highest we've ever flown in this uh, campaign so far, frankly. We seem to be levelling off now, which is a bit of a mercy. We've been just in a constant climb up to this point, so... Just keep the leader in our sights there. And the others are off to our right. Yeah, now we're just avoiding Archie, who's not doing a very good job, to be fair. And, um, keeping our eyes peeled for Huns. We haven't spotted anything yet. Doesn't mean there isn't anything out here waiting for us, though. The game does look very nice when you're up high altitude, though, I've got to say. It looks rather awesome. Most of the dogfighting in the First World War actually did take place up at high altitude rather than down, down quite low, as it has been for most of this uh, series so far. It did, uh, it did mostly take, up, take place, in fact, much higher than this, actually, really. Um, we're at medium altitude, really. Um, it was Definitely up in the more in the region of fifteen thousand plus where a lot of it sort of occurred. But yeah, my god, don't those clouds look awesome. This game yeah, this game's pretty. It really is. This isn't even the max uh, graphic settings by the way. Um, you can set it all the way up to max and you can add all sorts of things like super sampling and stuff. But um, my PC, even with its seven eighty six gigabyte and all the other junk I've got in it. Um, which you can see on my about page for those who aren't familiar with that. Um, it still struggles to run this game on, on Max, even though this is getting on a bit, this game. It's not not exactly new. Um, but yeah, it's often that way with flight sims, though. They tend to be quite future proof in the graphics department. They, they, they tend to age rather well. Cliffs of Dover is a very good example of that. That game still looks photorealistic in some aspects, even today many years after it was released. Right then, well, Archie stopped now. We're over on the friendlier side. So I guess... There was a recording again. Okay, I've been flying along for ages now, practicing my formation of flying and nothing else, but it seems we're... Okay, we're now flying into a cloud. This is going to end badly. Oh, this was this was not a good idea. Bloody squadron leader, what the hell are you thinking? Anyway, there was some stuff out in front of us. Some what the hell? What the hell is everyone? There you are. God, flying into clouds. Jesus, scary stuff. Um. Yeah, there's some stuff down there somewhere. Finally, 
after a long ass patrol thus far where I've done nothing but improve my formation flying skills. I did get quite close to my squadron leader though. I was I was I was relatively pleased with that, but it point stands. It's been a bit dull so far. Now it seems if we were going for something I can't s oh shit, it's above us. It's albatrosses above us. Wonderful. Well, this is going to be tricky. Uh, bring them down here, and then we've got to get above them. Ooh. Hello. This way a bit before I attract the attention of one of them. Hopefully, before I attract the attention of one of them. Oh, the old Essie can climb quite a bit when she wants to. That's true. But we need to get above them. As Mick Manic put it, always from above, seldom at the same level, and never from below. That's how you went to combat. And honestly, that's a good mantra to live by, even when you're not flying an SE-5. Oh god. Someone's got a pair of the bastards on his tail. Uh, they may be about to force my hand. Also, my track IR is misbehaving, which is really irritating. Speculative deflection shots out there. See if I can get his attention. Oi, fatso. Oh, nice. We got a good hit into him there. Look. He's, tra he's trailing stuff. Alright, I now need to check my six to make sure I'm not. Oh, and reload. Um, make sure I'm not in trouble. Okay, we've got C5 over there, looks like he's in trouble. Okay, well, this fella seems to be well in hand, so let's divert over here a bit, shall we? How about our chum over here? For as long as he keeps flying straight and level and uses his speed, we'll be fine, but even so, I'd like to give him a hand if I can. Do some more some long range sniping. I think we're catching up, albeit slowly. Oh, okay, now he's moving. Now he's doing stuff. Good. At least he's not chasing our friend, at the very least. Come on. Gotta reload. Okay, fine. That's cool. And that albatross off to our right. I think we're getting one or two hits, but it's not much right now. Let's, before we get isolated and outnumbered, let's make a run for it, I think. Uh, forget these guys. They're not interested in, well, I don't know, this guy's turning now, so it's difficult to say, but I want to know where my guys are right now. Come on, come on, come on, where are you? Last I saw they were heading this way, so.
Right, no, I don't think I'm going to find him. This is... Right. Okay, new plan. I'm going to climb and try and get up with these. Or this. Yeah, no. He's isolated as well. Got a friend over there. That's the one I was shooting at, but he seems to be doing his own thing right now, so... Right, I think I'm going to bag me a kill now. Let's do it. Let's start taking this seriously. Now we've got altitude and speed. Yes, hello. Hopefully he won't spot me. Where's the sun? Uh, it's sort of on my side. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but if I was online right now, I, m I would even consider cutting my engine off while, in while getting close to this guy in my dive, just to make sure he doesn't even hear me coming. That's what they did at the time. These World War One pilots, they were sneaky devils. And they wanted to be. Right. Okay, here we go. Yep. Okay. Lewis gun seems to have jammed. I don't really give a shit at this point. Right, he'll be hurting after that. That's for damn sure. Come back for another pass. He's probably injured as all hell right now, in fact. I would be if I'd just been shot at like that. I don't think anyone will be around to confirm this one though, sadly, unless those are friendlies. I don't, don't know if they are or not over there. He's dead. He's down. Okay, there we go. That's our victory for the day. What are this lot then? We just saw a second ago. Let's deal with them. There they are. Ooh, those are albatrosses as well, I think. Am I feeling bold? That is the question. <laughs> Shall I try bouncing a formation of albatross and then running for it? Could be a laugh. I have no idea where our, our guys are at this point, um, so... Holy shit! Alright, forget it, we're being bounced ourselves. That's my, what I get for not being observant. Right, well, nice try, lads, but you've uh, missed, so I'm out. I'm off. Ta-ta! Bye-bye! You're never going to catch me, especially not at this altitude. Oh, well, we got our fair, got our fair share of action in the end, after all. I was beginning to worry that this mission would just be a sort of fly around for a bit and then land again affair, which would really be kind of a bit shit. Nope. We shot a bloke down, and then we got chased off by all his mates. They're still not giving up, are they? They're still following me. I'm not having much luck, but they're still following. See, this is what I love about the SE5. It's not the best fighter plane ever, to be fair, because it's very difficult to shoot stuff down in it that is aware of you and is actively trying to kill you as well. Um, you find that when you play online especially. Um, the SE5 is probably one of the most difficult planes to fly in multiplayer for that reason. But nothing can catch you. Nothing can fucking catch you. Nothing German, anyway. So in situations like that, it's no big deal. I was just like, put the nose down a bit and off we go. Whereas, if I was flying, say, a SOP with Camel right there, I would have been in a world of shit, because there were three plus guys there. And even a SOP with Camel, uh, as agile and awesome as it is, will, will probably get killed by that. You can't, you can't go six to one right, and expect to win in any plane. So... Alright, well the question is, which way is home? Home is all the way up there. Oh. Long flight then, by the looks of things. Um, 
Alright, well I guess I'll skip ahead to be honest with you, I'll keep on this course. If I bump into anything, or by which I mean if I find anything sitting around below me, totally unaware of my presence, that, that happens to have black crosses on its wings, then maybe I'll come back and <laughs> we'll have some fun, but other than that, I think I'm going to head home at this point. Yeah. Alright then. Decided to do a bit of low level flying on our way home. Because I pretty much, much know the way back from here, so... Level, low level flying is fun, so... And look! It's an army camp. It's kind of cool. All the little tents. Hello chaps! Greetings from the Royal Flying Corps. Have a happy time in the trenches. Yeah, we just need to get across this river up ahead and then we'll be home, so... It's funny how different the world looks when you're down here, actually, compared to all the way up there. These forests. Rivers. It's a testament to this game's quality, really, that it looks quite good down low as well as up high. Hmm, I wonder. Should we try and do a touch and go in this field? Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go. Got our feet, got our wheels down just on that road there. <laughs> and off we go again. Jolly good fun. Probably shouldn't be stunting how people tend to get killed. Uh, <laughs> that's what they're trying to show off. Um, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Can't resist. Aerodrome should be just... Up. There it is, yes. Um, sense of direction has not, in fact, failed me for once. Let's just follow this road right up to the place. Shame there aren't any staff cars driving around that we can buzz. That'd be funny. What we got here? Road. Ooh. Trees will kill you in this game if you fly into them, so I need to be careful. Not get too cocky. Whee! And we're home. Charlie Marvellous. Right then, well, let's do a circuit and go for a landing. Check what the wind's doing. Oh, it seems to be almost no wind. At least not down here anyway. There was lots of bloody turbulence and wind up there when I was on my way back. The plane was practically flying sideways. That's how strong the wind was, so... But down here it seems fine. According to the wind sock. Let's come in from that way down towards this way. Um, no, actually, let's do it from the opposite end. Gives us the most room to work with. Oh, we're not landing on the middle of a footpath. <laughs> So that was a pretty good sortie, that one. I'm quite pleased with that. Long flight. Boring at times, but I was still enjoying it. Um, and then a short, sharp shock at the end. So we definitely... We can claim one destroyed and at least one damaged. Quite seriously damaged, in fact. Hopefully the others made it back. We shall see. I've got to tell you, this is very weird after having been flying the MiG on Saturday <laughs> in TCS. I'm going so slow compared to that right now, I might as well not even be moving. Alright, let's put the stabilizers up and let's get ready to touch this thing down. Side slipping as I come in to bleed off some more speed.
There we go. Almost three points. Not bad. Whoa, let's not go careening off out of control. There we go. Feeling just enough throttle to keep us moving and under control. I remember when I parked in a hangar and, and someone in the comments was like, Oh, turn around once you're in the hangar. Very funny. These planes do not have brakes and therefore I cannot turn on the spot. Um, yeah, this will do it. Lean out the fuel. And ignition off. That's this one down here. And we're done. Jolly good. Home in time for tea and medals. As per usual, we're not dead yet, it seems. So this, this LP is lasting a heck of a lot longer than I expected it to, frankly. Um, a heck of a lot longer, in fact. But, you know, no complaints. I'm enjoying it, so and I, I believe you guys are as well. The comments you've been giving me have been very supportive when it comes to this particular series, and, uh, frankly, that's kind of awesome. I appreciate it. So, yeah, I guess... I will see you back on the campaign screen, so... Okay, we're back on the campaign screen, and let's check out what happened in submission. Um, yeah. So, oh, no, 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 back to campaign, what am I doing? Combat report, not mission, uh, Um, victories claimed one. Um, we'll call that a D3, D5? We'll call that a D5. Um, yeah, I don't know if he'll give it to us, frankly, because I don't know if anyone was around to confirm it, but you never know. So we'll claim it anyway, because we did shoot him down, so we might as well say so. Whether or not they believe us is another matter entirely. So, we took off, and we flew down here, and down here, and then we changed direction, and then this is, this is all the boring stuff that I mostly cut out. I think I filmed this bit here. Um, and the rest of it I cut out and we came all the way back around here and at this point we diverted because that's when we spotted the albatrosses so yeah we had a big fight damaged two of them then I broke off flew off this way hoping to find the others and then we shot down this guy then we headed off this way and then yeah that's the point where I basically just decided right fuck it we're going, we're going home we're too outnumbered so we came along this way, and then it gets a bit squiggly because we're flying along the ground. And then we landed. So we go. Looks like everyone else survived as well. There were no so-and-so was destroyed messages. So, a good outing for the squadron, it would seem. And yes, here we go. Dolly Darch. Sheraton, myself, Arthur, and Elba. Successes include the following. An Albatross D3 shot down by... Yours truly! Excellent. It looks like they gave it to us then. And oh, finally. Finally, we've been promoted to a lieutenant. I can start bossing people around now. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's. I was waiting for that. That's that's brilliant. So, yeah, now we're a lieutenant. Ow. I just caught my finger on the bottom of the joystick. Ouch. <laughs> Dumbass. Um, yeah. We're now a lieutenant, which means we can boss around all the second lieutenants, which means we can lead a flight now, in fact. Which is what I intend, fully intend to do in the future, actually. I will lead flights, and I will tell the guys to attack, and so on and so forth. And um, hopefully things will be a bit more interesting as a result. Because we can pick and choose our own mission routes and all sorts of things. It'll be good fun. So anyway, yeah. Finished reading. It brings us up to 25 simulated missions. 13 victories. We're doing pretty good. We're beating Reg, which is nice. <laughs> Fury Bone's got six. Arthur's got seven. We're doing not bad at all. We're kicking the Hun's ass, ladies and gentlemen. Have I got any other awards? No, still just got the Military Cross and the Wound Stripe. Alright, well, you know what? Um, 
finished read. Oh, let's have a look at the pilot log just for shits and giggles. There we go. Uh, two albatross D3s, a D5, a D3, a D2 late. Four more D3s, two Rolands, a Halberstadt, and an albatross D3. Makes 13 victories in all. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. In fact, I think now we've been promoted, I'm going to do something we've not done yet, and that is uh, leave. Which is not leave the squadron, it's go on, go on leave. And we're going to have, let's have two weeks of leave. Um, because we've been promoted. So, and we haven't had any leave since we joined the squadron back in where, whenever. The only time off we had was when we were in hospital, so. <laughs> so, have two weeks of leave. We'll come back. And it seems, what's happened then? The squadron has moved to airfield. Oh yeah, a bunch of text that's kind of bugged out. It looks like we're at Lagorg though, by the sounds of it. That will be all when we moved on the 23rd of June. Lieutenant Carl Almanroder was lost in action today. A great ace has been killed. Fine. Leaves more, leaves more room for me on the leaderboard. That's <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. So there we go. There we are. There we go. We've come back after two weeks. Seems everyone else is still alive, so that's nice. And, uh, yeah. Larry Bowman's up to his tally to seven, it seems, in my absence. Reg hasn't got any more. Sheridan's got one. Did he have one before? I can't remember. But anyway. Uh, yeah. Looks good. And we've moved to Lagorg, which is where, precisely? Here. We've moved north. We're now across the lines from Lil. And the question is, which enemy squadrons are we facing? Yasta 30, Yasta 6, Schlafster 24B, Yasta 8. Yasta... Oh! Yasta 11 are in our area, guys. That's not good. Ooh. I don't believe Richtofen is serving with Yasta 11 yet. But they're still a pretty badass unit. And they are directly across the road from us. So, ooh, that's going to make things interesting. We also got Yasta 27, Yasta 10, Yasta 18. Yes, interesting indeed. Well, anyway, yeah, we're still in France, as you can see. There are other, there are other theatres. There is the Channel Theatre, which covers Belgium up here. As you can see, these are Belgian units, these yellow dots on the map. Um, and you've also got naval units as well, which are these light red ones and these light blue ones. That's the Royal Naval Air Service and the whatever, the, the SPA, whatever that means. And you've also got these, this, the, the Kriegsmarine. Marine, Feltjags, whatevers. And all, it also covers England as well, um, obviously because later in the war, um, the Germans sent raids across to England. Obviously, they were, they were sending Zeppelin raids, but I'm pretty sure Zeppelins aren't actually in this game, which kind of makes me sad, honestly. Um, there is another game called Wings Over Flanders Fields, uh, which is actually a payware mod for... Um, yes, paid mods, I know. The controversy. Um, it's a paid payware mod for Combat Flight Simulator 3. It's quite old now, but um, that... It's like Rise of Flight single player. Arguably, it has better single player than Rise of Flight, but it's a bit old, so the graphics aren't quite as good, and the flight models are a bit meh. Well, they're all right, you know, but they're they're a little bit ar not not arcadey. I don't really know what the word is. A bit on rails, I suppose. Um, but I'm pretty sure that game does have zeppelins in it. So, but later in the war, the Germans send Gotha raids across. Gothas being their big twin engine bombers that fly all the way across the channel. And drop bombs on poor old people living in Dover and Canterbury and probably London as well. Although London's not on the map, sadly. So yeah, um, later in the war we could end up doing night fighter duty over in England itself. Trying to track down Gothers and shoot them down if we survive long enough. Um, that could be interesting for a bit of a change of pace. Do that for a month or so. Um, yeah, and the, obviously the other uh, theatre, which is a new one they added to the game not very long ago, is Galicia. Um which is Tarnapol, which is on the Eastern Front. So, you have Russian squadrons with Russian Newport 17s and uh, Harman F-40s. And do they have any of those big ones? Sikorsky 
something or others. The big ones are massive bombers. I got spads. Um, Ilya Muramets, that's the one. Yeah. Ilya Muramets, that's a massive for for an old plane. I mean it was I think it was designed in 1913. It was it predated the First World War. Big old bomber, about six engines or something monstrous like that. Um and if you've got it, I don't, because unfortunately I have the Steam version of the game and the Ilya Muramets is not available. Um, for the Steam version of Rise of Flight yet. I think once they've added a bunch more Russian planes to the game, uh, they'll probably make a Steam pack for it, and I will probably buy it, because I don't know much about the Russians in World War I, especially Russian aviation, and it should be interesting to learn about. But yeah, there you go. So they added the Eastern Front to the game a little while ago, and here it is in Pat Wilson's campaign generator, which is pretty cool, really. It would be cool one day to do a Russian career, perhaps get to grips with a completely new theatre. Anyway, yeah, that's enough for now. Yeah, I am going to go now, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back next time, we're going to be at Le Gorg instead of Bezier. And uh, we're going to be a lieutenant, which means we get to boss people around and it's going to be awesome. So, yeah. Until then, I bid you farewell and happy flying. And, uh, you know, Try not to get ambushed by three fucking albatross like I was, because that was not very clever of me. Uh, there I was. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bounce this formation of albatross. Oh shit! Oh god, I'm being bounced. Yeah. Please, uh, what, check your sixes as well. That, that's also good advice. So anyway, yeah. I'll stop babbling now and I'll piss off.